Welcome. I'm Halcyon, and this is Hug Nation. Today I want to talk about advice versus understanding. And over and over online, I see people make the mistake of giving advice when someone just wants understanding. I also see it in my own relationships, and I see it in other people's relationships, and I see it all the time. It's almost kind of a, a, a cliche, you know, the men are from Mina. Venus. Men are meanies. Men are from Venus, women from Mars, or vice versa. Women from Venus, men are from Mars. As long as some of them are meanies, and some of them have penis, and some of them... Uh, okay, I lost track. But the point is, um, it is a common challenge that people have when communication is well-intentioned, but poorly received. I saw someone post today on, on Facebook that made me think of this. They said, like, they said, listen, everybody who's trying to help me, I appreciate your concern, but I do not want unsolicited advice and I do not want your diagnoses. It is a very common desire when someone expresses a challenge, a problem, a pain point, some suffering that you want to fix it, you want to help it. I know that I have had to learn that trying to solve someone's problem is not necessarily a loving thing to do. I think that many of us, myself included, I, I believe that like fixing and offering advice and sharing wisdom and trying to be, you know, be a, a experienced person, bringing my experience to someone's ex you know, struggles, that that was a love language. That was a way of expressing love and trying to, to help and trying to, you know, show my caring and my love. But that actually, the more that I have studied this and, and sat with it and thought about it, that's not love. When you see someone struggling and you want to end their struggle, there's a lack of love there. There's a lack of belief and faith that they can figure this out. There's a, a lack of faith in the grand journey that they are going through in this life, that their struggle is not something that is that they are capable of and that is not providing them with education and training to be a better version of themselves. If you eliminate struggle from someone's life, you eliminate the very training ground and the classroom that they are using to become a better person. Eliminating struggle is not what's best for us. It is a natural experience and a natural feeling to when you see someone that you love wanting to end their pain, end their struggle. But the loving thing to do is to see them at their best, to know that they have the, the capabilities to get through this struggle and to believe that they can do it. To see them, even when they doubt themselves, no, I know you got this. I know you can do this. I know that this is just part of your journey, just like we are all uh, on our journeys. And to rob you of the lesson would be to treat you with disrespect, a lack of love, a lack of faith. Now, that does, does that mean that if somebody reaches out a hand and asks for help, that you don't give it to them? Or when they say, hey, do you have any advice here? Or have you ever had an experience that might relate to this, what I'm going through? Absolutely, you can provide advice, provide information, provide experience, provide assistance. But there's a huge difference between seeing someone struggle and trying to help them unsolicited versus providing help after they ask for it. When someone is asking for help, that's a whole different story. And in fact, it's a good training to start to add that type of verbal consent and request for clarification before you ever give uh, advice or try to help or try to fix. When someone is saying, oh man, I'm so struggling with this and I can't sleep because of this and this, instead of saying, oh, you know what you should do? Say, that sounds rough. If you want to even go farther saying, that sounds rough. Would, is there anything I can do to help? Or, that sounds rough. I once had a similar experience. Would it help if I shared you what helped for me? 
all of these things are letting the person say, no, it's cool, I'm fine. I'm just like, I'm just going through this. And you go, okay, cool. Because when you, without solicitation, without the request, give the help, what you think is help, it doesn't feel like help. It feels like a homework assignment or it feels like a criticism. It feels like someone saying, I know better than you, which it was someone, when someone's struggling, it's suddenly making them go, ugh, like, ugh, it, it pushes them down. It is, it is a disrespect. It is not a, a supportive comment, which is what most people need in that moment, unless they say, hey, I could use some help here. Or what have you, have you ever had this happen to you? What would, what would you do? Without that, that, that request, that consent for your advice, your advice is a criticism. Your advice is a lack of faith. Your advice is a demonstration of your superiority as opposed to just a, a caring act. What happens very frequently is you, someone starts to share a struggle and the person that loves them doesn't like the feel of the other person struggling. It, it, they, because you're connected, because you feel someone else's joy and you feel their pain and you feel connected to that person, as they share this struggle, you want to stop it. And so you say, you need to do this. You need to call them back. You can't let that happen. You know, you, you, and the person hears it as criticism, hears it as one more thing on their to-do list, one more thing that they've failed at, or that they're, you know, it, it, it does not help them in any way. And in fact, it, it, it makes it worse. The tension is worse. They do not have the support of, it doesn't alleviate their burden. It actually adds to their burden as you share what they should do. And then often they will say like, hey, knock it off. Like, I don't, I don't need that. Like, that's not what I need from you right now. And, and, and they heighten their energy in a negative, stressful way. Now the person who gave the advice, thinking that they were helping, is now they feel the pain and now they feel the aggression as they were trying to help. And then they've got this, this even mounted amount of, of stress and pain. And because most of us are not really well trained to deal with this, we then spit it back and go, I'm just trying to help you. If you want to, you know, and suddenly you're now fighting about this communication breakdown. Both of you, want the other person to feel better. Both of you want peace. Both of you want this struggle to be alleviated, but because of miscommunication as to how we want to be soothed and what kind of methods are helpful, we turn this basic communication of I'm having a struggle that all requires is I hear you having that struggle. I care about you and I believe in you. That's all that's required. But instead we have a, I'm struggle. You should fix it. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me that I can't have it. So in conclusion, be very certain that someone wants your help before you offer it, before someone wants your advice and your wisdom and your genius and your expertise, because it's not a gift if it is not desired. It is a criticism. It is a, a lack of respect. It is a, a mistrust in the other person's ability to be their highest self. And it's also, it's, it's an arrogance. It does take a degree of patience and self-mastery at times to hold back, especially when you have been trained to believe that is a love language, that is a way that you help for people. But you've got to watch yourself, check yourself, practice saying, that's got to suck. That must feel like, that must be frustrating. That must be incredibly annoying. Is there anything I can do to help? Would you like a hug? Is there anything that I could share of my experiences that might be helpful? But always, if you have a need, doing so from a getting consent. I know it's different than physical consent, but it's energetically the same kind of thing where you think that we're on the same page. But if you're not, a caress is not a gift. Advice is not a gift unless it is desired. So that being said, 
I would be open to your advice and your help and your any attempts to alleviate my suffering should that happen. But maybe just for practice, let's practice our consent and ask me before you tell me what I need to do when I share something online that is a demonstration of a frustration or an expression of a struggle. Because sometimes it's just a matter of saying, hey, <laughs> look what I'm going through. Even if I say I got this, just sharing, it sometimes is very hard to say, to, to bite your tongue. But you, I got this, right? That's all I need to hear. You got this. So let me assure you that whatever you're going through, you got this. That being said, if you'd like thoughts, advice, or assistance, reach out to me or people that you care about and trust and express it clearly. Because we all want to help each other, I think. Don't we? Don't we want to be of service? Don't we want to lift each other up? We just got to practice doing it in ways that actually are received. So I love you. Have a beautiful day. And join us here every Monday live on Facebook at one o'clock. Archives usually go up Tuesday on YouTube and subscribe to the iTunes Hug Nation channel. And now join the new Hug Nation group for accountability and become a Patreon supporter. And I have too many things on this list. And really all I wanna do is be your online or real life or conceptual and spiritual friend. I love you. Have a beautiful day.